Judge Derek Rose, 51. Thank you. My approach, Your Honor. Please, Mr. Bourne. Derek R. Rose, 10 CR 59. Mr. Bourne, it's your motion today in this matter for him to withdraw the previous plea of not guilty and to enter a plea of guilty. That's correct, Your Honor. And Mr. Rose, is it your desire to enter a plea of guilty today, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you. Mr. Smith, please. Judgment counts for seeing selling property under 500 criminal trespass first. That's all for 12 months and a $500 fine on each. Said sentence to run concurrent to each other for one 12 month sentence and a $500 fine. Said sentence to fine to be initially discharged for two years on the standard condition. And in addition, $1,000 is paid in restitution, which has been paid. That he is not to be in Owen Carroll or Grant County during this period. Judge, there's one other thing, and we're going to get this out on the. He's record. doing 90 days. 90 sir. days additionally from today, Judge. And, Judge, you need to understand what that's about. I think I know what it's about. Please it go is ahead. It's an incident at the jail. It's a nasty incident at the jail and a parent attitude problem. And I'm not convinced he's completely over at this point. But we need for the court to understand that if there's any other problem at the jail while he's doing this time, that we're going to bring him back to be revoked on this time hanging over his head. And, and I would got, assume he's got a charge pending, or will I assume, down in district court for uh, criminal mischief over there out of all of this. Now, we're not going to move to revoke him off of that, but if he doesn't straighten his attitude up, if there's any other problems over there, then we're going to be back in front of this court uh, asking that he be revoked on this because he's obviously not made the mental change that he needs to make going forward. There's a th uh, before he's, uh, but the sentencing will be today, he's supposed to pay the $1,000. He's to pay the yes. okay. okay. All right, uh, Mr. Bourne, he does wish to enter a plea guilty on this you say today? That's correct, Your Honor. All right, sir, you want to hold up your right hand to be sworn. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to provide to be the true self you got? Yes, sir. Sir, did you look over all these papers before you signed them today? Yes, sir. You got any questions you asked me about anything on these papers? No, sir. Sir, are you currently under the influence of any alcohol or drugs or medicine of any kind? No, sir. Are you suffering from or being treated for any kind of medical or mental problems or conditions of any kind? No, sir. Have you ever suffered from mental problems during your life? No, sir. You ever had any serious head or brain injury? No, sir. Sir, do you understand by pleading guilty you give up the constitutional right to trial by judge or jury, the right to confront and cross-examine everyone who testifies against you at that trial? right to have subpoenas issued to force people to come to court to tell your side of things, the right to not testify or to incriminate yourself, and the right to appeal. Yes, sir. Sir, have you had enough time to consult with Mr. Bourne so that you feel comfortable entering a plea of guilty today? Yes, sir. Sir, has he answered all your questions? Yes, sir. Sir, has he looked into the details of your charges to your satisfaction? Yes, sir. And, sir, are you satisfied with the representation Mr. Bourne provided to you in this case? Yes, sir. Sir, has he or anybody else made any threat or promise or guarantee to force you to plead guilty? No, sir. And, sir, are you pleading guilty because you are guilty? Yes, sir. And do you have any questions about any part of this at all, sir? No, sir. And, sir, are you aware of the facts the Commonwealth will prove against you to convict you of these charges because you've been over the discovery with Mr. Bourne, which he does thoroughly? Do you have any dispute about those facts at all? No, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. Bourne, having insulted this gentleman, you believe he understands his charges and his rights? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Sir, would he be able to assist in his defense if that became necessary? Yes, sir. Sir, do you know of any reason why he shouldn't offer a plea of guilty at this time? No, Your Honor. And, sir, do you believe the plea is made knowingly, voluntarily, and understandingly, and with a factual basis? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Thank you. And you wish to waive the PSI being a Class A misdemeanor and sentence at this time? That's correct, Your Honor. I will then adopt as my judge the plea agreement of the parties is set out therein, still leaving him a court cost to pay of how much, please? 155. 155. When's his release date other than the district court case he got paid? days from today, Judge. That's fine. I'll require him to pay uh, the $155 uh, in full. 120 days from his release from jail. So I don't know when you're going to get out. Could be next month. Could be next year. I don't know. But four months after you get released, you got to pay the $155 in full or come back here and be held in contempt, face up to 180 days more in jail, up to an additional $500 in fines. Do you understand all that, sir? Yes, sir. Is there any comments you want to make about the things Mr. Crawford said today about your, about your past and future conduct? No, sir. You need to understand you're going to be on conditional discharge, and in many ways that's worse than being on parole because if you violate in any way, and that's up to me to decide whether you violate one way or the other. If you do that, you'll come back here and do every day of that remaining 365 without intervention of some feel-good parole board that wants to let everybody out of jail. Do you understand all that, sir? Yes, sir. In addition to that stacked on top will be any additional uh, activities you engage in out there. You clear about all that? Yes, sir. You got any questions about what the conduct is expected of you on the conditional discharge under the laws of the Commonwealth? No, sir. If you have any questions about that, I suggest you provide those to Mr. Bourne. Thank you and good luck.
Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Mr. Bourne. Bye.